Hey guys, it's Mana here, and today we are going to play One Way to Die. Uh, apparently now with Choose Mode, whatever that is. I'm going to play it the normal way first, and then maybe I'll go back and revisit Choose Mode in the future. But, yeah, this was in the free-to-play section of Steam. It looks gory, so why not? Pledges of friendship. Suddenly you snap awake in your bed. Dry mouth, eyes sticky, and a slight film of moisture covering your whole body. As you blink away the fog of the last dream, the one where you died, a feeling of dread creeps over you. You're barely able to recall the last few seconds when suddenly it is replaced by a pretty nasty headache. Despite the feeling that horrible things are about to happen, and your pulsating cranium... You remember that today is the last day the glorious Finnegan Brothers Fun Park is open. While the closing itself is truly a crime against humanity, the upside is that all the rides and games are free and fried foods are heavily saturated as well as discounted, and there's a chance to win your own elephant. Who would pass that up, even with the specter of death lingering about? But do you stop to take an aspirin for that wretched headache? Or make a sandwich to fill your empty belly, or just say fuck it and head to the car. Uh, perhaps you should take some aspirin for that headache, shower and get cleaned up, then head out. Some growls, maybe you should grab a bite to eat before heading out, just a sandwich. Nah, yeah, he'll be fine, time to go. Uh, let's go with one. I miss my horses. You enter the bathroom in a blinded fury as the headache repeatedly stabs at your brain from all sides. After almost giving up, you spot it out of the corner of your eye, lying capless on the floor beside the toilet. Picking up the bottle and giving it a swift shake, you are rewarded with six little pills that you try to swallow, mustering what saliva you can in the process. The majority go down easily enough, but the last one just happens to get lodged in your throat a bit, causing you to hack and cough. It even hurts a little bit as you begin to worry about choking on it. Luckily, it dryly finds its way down to your stomach. Washing it down further with some foul-tasting sink water seems to help. That was a close one, you think, as you wash your face in the sink. Okay, maybe you're just being a bit paranoid about that. A smile crosses your face as you remember there is no time for such dark thoughts. It's a fun park's last day! I need to turn the volume down a little bit. That is loud! You gained immunity! You have taken aspirin. This will negate certain biological deaths. Yes, perhaps it's time to get going. To the fun park! might be able to sneak in a sandwich still. A little something for your belly. I feel like it's important that we eat before we go, but then again, we're getting discounted junk food, so I'm gonna... To the fun park! How to track detainees. As if it were Christmas, you run down the stairs with childish glee, even a little skip in your step. But when you get downstairs and place your hand on the front doorknob, you suddenly remember that you had promised yourself that you'd polish your gun before heading out to the fun park. Knowing how forgetful and lazy you are, it's probably better this taken care of now. Can't have a dirty firearm laying about. You slide it out from beneath the couch cushion and begin to vigorously polish it, all the while forgetting to check the clip and the chamber. Clearly, you've seen, never seen anyone clean a gun before, as you merely, as you are merely shining it, if anything. But while you are looking down the barrel like an idiot, one of the one of your grubby little fingers rubs against the trigger enough just just enough to make it fire. A death most instantaneous and messy. You died from a gunshot. Start over. <laughs> you hear a weird scratching noise off somewhere on the floor. Looking over the side of the bed, you see some weird flesh-colored looking creature with no discernible face sitting on the floor. What the fu you start you start as the thing crouches down a bit. You sit up just a just as the little bastard leaps into your face, it latches on and begins to chew up your face like jerky. Despite how you try, you can't seem to pry it off and eventually succumb to your wounds. You have been eaten by head crabs. I haven't even started yet. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take some aspirin for the headache. You rush into the bathroom with a sense of urgency that can only be brought on such an insane event as the closing of the fun park. You decide to take a quick shower in order to in order so you crank up the hot water and a bit of the cold then go to brush your teeth it is important to have clean mouth on this day especially i mean you, if you want to win an elephant surely it will be handed over by the finnegan brothers themselves right well apparently you forgot your water heater has been janky lately and super fucking hot 
You look over just in time to see your shower curtain melt into fine, multicolored pool as huge steam clouds burst forth from the enclosed shower area. Sadly for you, your sink is damn close to it, and the hideous mist engulfs you. It is so hot that you immediately get third-degree burns all over your skin, and your skin blisters off as you fall to the floor screaming. Safe to say, shock sets in not too long after that, and you fade into darkness as your body twitches. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it said start over, so I start over and I immediately die. I immediately, okay. <laughs> you stand up from the bed and stretch a little. A yawn slips out as you scratch your head and turn towards your window, which happens to have a lovely view of Murphy's Lake. A gorgeous day to spend at Finnegan Brothers, and the scene itself seems to soothe your headache just a bit. When suddenly, an arrow bursts through the glass, piercing your eyeball and penetrating deep into your brain. You stagger for a second, finally losing your balance and dropping to your knees as a single stream of blood trickles down from your eye. Your headache is replaced by a wholly different sensation now, which you only experience for a split second before falling forward dead. As you get ready to leave your bedroom, you notice a small thread by the bedroom door. That's weird, you think. Do you want to yank on it or just go on your way? Maybe just see what happens, set a trap, stomach growls, maybe she's just got a bite to eat before heading out. Meh, you'll be fine, time to go. Uh, let's just see what happens. God damn it. Oh, I didn't die, okay. You went to the bathroom and a blinded floor. Okay, nothing happened. You notice a candle burning on the edge of the sink for whatever reason. That's pretty weird, you think. You've taken aspirin. This will negate certain biological deaths. Awesome. Say Bloody Mary into the mirror. Set trap. Well, I wonder what it means by set trap. Set trap. Sure. Why not? Heated exchange. Just a few minutes in the kitchen were all you needed to whip up a delicious sandwich to tide you over until you get to the fun park. But not even this mouth-watering beauty was enough to keep those creepy fears at bay. You were a little too jumpy when you were spreading the mustard, but it's only a butter knife after all. What could really happen? You chew each bite very cautiously, randomly glancing up at the clock, then back to the table again. Every other time you take a drink of water to wash down your mashed up mashed sandwich clumps. Secretly fearing you will choke if there's not a liquid lubricant present. You toss the plate in the sink and make your way to the front door as you swallow the last remaining piece of deliciousness. On your way out of the kitchen, your phone informs you that the milk delivery bill is overdue. Probably should pay that shit. You've eaten a sandwich. This will pre prevent hunger-related deaths. Call the milkman and tell them to go fuck themselves, set trap. Or not as satisfying as fresh corn dogs, but it'll do. Let's go. I'm lactose intolerant, but let's pay that bill. Set trap. I want to know what the set trap thing is. Oh, you are the saboteur, so I'm supposed to set traps? Is that what I'm supposed to? I'm so confused. Sure, why not? The minute your foot touches the top step, the headache that rage previously reminds you it is there. Luckily, you took that aspirin. What would have ended in a life-threatening brain aneurysm causing you to flop down the stairs like a rag doll has been avoided all thanks to that lovely little white pill you got at the corner store for less than one dollar. And you even paid for it all in pennies. The headache does nothing more than brush the back of your eyes and disappears again. You gallop down the stairs at full speed and stop on the hallway rug, looking back and forth between the kitchen and the front door. Go make a sandwich now, or head to the car. You're pretty hungry, but you can probably wait to fill up on fair food later. Hmm, should I turn into on the home security, you think, just in case? Flip the switch to your home security measures. Might as well get a sandwich first. Starvation is fine. But I ate. Or it tells me right there that I ate. I'm so confused. Ah, set trap. I'm the saboteur. I don't know what that means. Dangerous neighborhood. You cruise out the front door with the fun park on your mind. Without missing a beat, you get into your car and back that big bad bastard out of the driveway. After straightening it out in the street and nudging the neighbor, neighbor's kid, neighbor kid's bike, you go flying down the road a, slightly over the speed limit just as the bike tumbles over. It seems like nothing can stop you now. As you pull up to the first red light, you realize that you are low on gas. Perhaps critically low if you aren't careful and coast most of the way. You press that fancy button that gives you an estimated 
um, estimation on when you'll run out, and it seems enough to make it to the fun park and back. Barely. Maybe, looking up from the dash, you see a gas station on the corner of adjacent from you. For only malicious reasons, while sitting at the light, you think you should call the tree trimmers and have them take a, just the notch of that big-ass tree in your yard. Call them and schedule a good notching set trap. Fuck it, go to the fun park. Um, we'll just go to the, get some gas, just in case. Oh, in the hands of God and Iran. Pulling into the gas station and getting the flipping process started was easy, but staying away from the allure of an open and overflowing beer truck is not. You curiously stumble over toward it to inspect further as the driver pulls some kegs off and even goes as far as to tap one. You immediately hasten your approach, much like a homeless, the homeless guys near the dumpster, when the clerk comes out with, the plastic, with plastic party cups. Sadly for you, for you all, the last keg the driver placed down on the ground just happened to lose all sense of stability and explodes right there on the spot. The shrapnel from the keg is pretty brutal and fatal when it hits you square in the chest and face. All of these things you experience, much like the driver, the clerk, and the overly eager homeless. No beer for any of you. But do you stop and take an aspirin for the wretched headache, or make a sandwich to fill your empty belly, or just say fuck it and head to the car? Perhaps you should take some aspirin. Okay, you notice a candle burning on the edge of the sink for whatever reason. It's pretty weird, you think. Yes, perhaps it's time to get going to the fun park. Might be able to sneak in a sandwich still. God damn it. Strolling into the kitchen like a pro, you pull various goods from the fridge and throw them up on the table. With a hung hungered, blinding quickness, you whip up your favorite sandwich in a snap. You stab two toothpicks into it and give it a quick swipe with a knife, cutting it cleanly in two pieces, even stopping to place a little olive garnish on one of the toothpicks. Your mouth begins to salivate as you raise one up and take a bite. Sadly, you forgot that friend of yours who stopped by yesterday with the lotus shrimp. That same friend clearly never worked with the food industry and left them to soak in your oddly uncovered pile of breads and meats. Who does that anyways? Clearly you. You wolf down the sandwich, half sandwich, unaware of the sweet shrimp juice soaked into it, which intensely aggravates your selfish allergy. You curse his name as your windpipe, as your windpipe closes up and your body begins to shut down, then immediately collapse onto the floor. You have died from selfish al shellfish allergy. Start over. But do you stop and take an aspirin for that wretched headache? Or make a sandwich? I'm, I'm all for taking this aspirin. God damn it! Walking into the bathroom, you spot a small razor blade sitting on the high con sitting in high contrast against the toilet tank lid. The fear begins to whisper to you again as you wander over and pick it up gently, running your thumb over the edges to test it. And yep, that looks pretty damn sharp indeed. You think to yourself while a massive drop of blood forms along the line. You hold the razor blade near your wrist and brush it lightly. Just then, the bulb above in the ceiling light blows out, startling you just enough to jerk to the left, which causes you to slash your wrist deeply. The razor drops from your hand as blood gushes from the other. You take a step backward, but slip on the fresh pool of blood near your feet, falling to the floor then and then curling up into a ball. You drift off into the darkness as you bleed out through the, the massive wound on your hand and wrist. You've died from accidental suicide. Start over. Wow. Okay, well, I'm just gonna quit for now because, god damn, I'm not making I haven't made it to the park once. I've made it out of the house one time. So I think we're gonna come back to this sometime because this is pretty funny. And unfortunately, I have to keep the recording short right now because I have a lot to do. Once again, I have let the highlight reel get away from me. Shit, that goes up on Monday. Wish me luck. But on that note, I'm logging off now. I'll see you guys later. And remember to do something nice for a stranger day. Like, stop this shit from happening. Seriously. <laughs> you may just save a life. Bye!